Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of Salmon Stamps. As my name is Albert Gurrier. If you're viewing me through YouTube, you'll see a subscribe button up here. Click on that. Keep up to date with the latest ongoings here. If you want to drop me a comment, there's a box below. If you're viewing me through a phone or elsewhere, there's the ways of doing that too. So take advantage of that. Um, this segment is going to be submitted for possible inclusion to the PW Insider family of websites. It's pwinsider.com, pwinsiderelite.com, and pwinsiderextranoe.com. You could also visit them at Twitter at PWInsider.com or on Facebook at PWInsider. Um, the Elite site is a great paid site to go to. Lots of great audio, lots of great video, lots of content on there. So by all means, check it out. Um, this segment should be pretty quick. Just have a couple of things to really go into. Nothing too much in depth. So without further ado, here we go. Saturday Night Live. There was a skit on there between with Chris Kattan and Helen Hunt and Helen Hunt played the mom Chris Kattan played a little kid and mom was putting a kid to bed and he has these aspirations to be a, to be someone in sports and there's this little fairy that visits him the next thing you know out comes a baseball player and he says you know all you have to do is just follow your dreams, and every and you can you can and things will happen. He's like, I can, and he's like, Yeah, you can. Bit time passes, another sports person comes out, says, You know, if you follow your dream, you can make things happen, etc., etc. And he's like, I can. It's like, Yeah. And then all of a sudden, all these other sports players coming out start having start having battles with one another, but they each tell the same, they each tell the kid the exact same line that they said before. If you just follow your dreams, everything will happen. And it's like, after a while, he's like, they just said that, and he's becoming so disenchanted. And it's like the thrill that he had before is just completely gone now. Now that. The 20 millionth person has said, All you have to do is follow your dreams, everything be okay. What does this have to do with the topic that's going on this week? Easy. Three times we've had a match between Daniel Bryan and CM Punk. Champion versus champion. Now, I don't know, it's bad enough the fact that they didn't give this as much time to play, but the fact that they're overdoing it, that it's going to lose that that loses that bit of flair with each match that goes on and to add to that the fact that the last match that they had wasn't really focusing on the match although granted there were other things that pushed the push the bars close to WrestleMania but the fact that it seemed like the last match was just to just to be the spot for for John Laurinaitis and Teddy Long to battle over management and control of things of that nature. If that's your champion, if you're having champions in a match, one on one, that's where the focus should be. They even said it's like it's been said even on PW Insider on one of their elite shows. It's like that's where your focus should be. Your focus should be on the champions, not anything surrounding it. If it happens to be part of that, then fine. If it became part of the, if it was like okay, this champion's going for this guy, this champion side went that side, and so we go on forward. But no, it didn't seem to be that way. It just seemed to be a side note that took precedence over everything. And granted, CM Punk was jumped by Jericho, and Daniel Bryan was thrown in the ring by Sheamus. But it seemed like that whole match was just a, just a way to push the Laurinaitis Teddy Long situation further. And that is, it's, so what are they going to do Monday? Is it going to be Daniel Bryan versus CM Punk again? Is it going to be that way on SmackDown? Is it going to be that way two weeks down the line? I mean, how many times are we going to do this match? That's never, that's not really building towards anything. Granted, it's a sideline for other things so that you see Sheamus getting one up on Daniel Bryan or Chris Jericho getting one up on CM Punk, but... If you're not going anywhere with these in terms of the two, uh, in terms of them actually getting together in one epic battle that you've kind of wasted once, twice, three times, I mean, where where are you gonna where can you take these people? 
where can you take Daniel Bryan and CM Punk in terms of a match? You can't do it at the next pay-per-view. Well, can't do it at WrestleMania because that's already booked, but you can't do that at the one after that or SummerSlam or things of that nature and hope to get the same effect out of it because essentially you've kind of taken that opportunity and you've blown it. You I mean every match that they had, it's, it seems like, <laughs> for the most part, it seems like they're kind of going through the paces because they know where it's ending as opposed to this knockdown drag out affair. So, yeah, we've, we've, we've done this match. Let it rest. Let it go. Let it sleep for a while. Don't bring it up for another year. Because so far you've diluted it with the attention, with the stuff provided to it. If there weren't champions, I can understand that. But the concept of your title being basically people that's holding your titles and you're putting them in matches that dilute the quality of it in terms of the accessibility, excessiveness of it, I should say. Not to mention the fact that Elimination Chamber, you had a main event with Cena and Kane as opposed to a match with CM Punk or Daniel Bryan. Headlining made no sense. But yeah, it's when you dilute a product, what interest or what people are going to have interest in that? That they be concentrated on it. Concentrated, diluted, get it? Lame attempt at humor. Um, but yeah, they need to let this match sleep for a bit. Never mention it again. Never go anywhere with it. Like I said, let it sleep for about a year or so. And then revisit it. Because right now, you're killing it. Killing the killing the spectacle of it all. So, that's all I gotta say about that. Next topic, very short. Um, I happen to be catching, I happen to catch some of the Ringa King shows. Saw an episode and I'm thinking to myself, okay, there's TNA people and it's a TNA made product, but it, it's like, you'd be hard pressed to make me believe that it's a TNA promoted show. Now, as a side note, I haven't seen Impact lately. To me, they were going through a time where it hasn't been must-see TV, but I've heard they've been improving quite a bit, so I might have to redo my DVR to make sure it keeps the episodes. But it just fascinated me that it was different. It was the same people, but completely different storylines, completely different feel, a completely different environment. I was like, wow, I like this show. Got to see more of it when I have the time. But yeah, I was, I was amazed by it. Thoroughly impressed by the way it was presented. Thoroughly presented by the way the talent got over. And it's just <laughs> just amazing. I hope they go on quite a bit with it. And I hope they manage to keep it a separate entity. A separate broadcast show. Because it doesn't really have to cross over each other. But yeah, I was, I was really impressed by what I saw. From the show that I saw. So I'm going to, like I said, have to watch more of them and have the chance. Um, I'd like to be able to watch Ring of Honor on my iPad, but not happening yet. Because they've yet to fix their issues with their, with the way the media player shows. Myself, I have a computer, but I don't often take it out to view videos on it. Anything that I do is on one of these little, goofy, one little things. So... Because it kind of helps if you're like cleaning up or something or doing something. Just put this on a corner. Not a, not an advertisement for this, but what the hell? iPad, Apple. I could be, like I said, I want to be the next iJustine. <laughs> so yeah, Apple, iPad, Apple iPhone. So hmm. not paid by them, not endorsed by them, but I'm pushing the product nonetheless. Because, hey, this is my show. So, <laughs> that ramble out the way. But, yeah, I would love to watch Ring of Honor on my on my device. I would love to watch the WWE Greatest Matches on their website through my device. But that's not happening. Can't wait till they get everything worked out so that I am. Because, yeah, I would really, really have fun with this. But, yeah, if you are, if you do have an iPad... And you do want to watch the watch Ring King, or if you have a tablet, what if you have an Android, if you have a playbook, whatever, just go on YouTube, search for Ring King. Very well worth checking out. Um, 
brief overview, Territory League, I've mentioned this before, they have a show coming up in March. Check out their website, www.territoryleague.com. Check out my previous segments for more information on it. Also, Dragon Gate mentioned there are things coming up in April soon, so check that out there too. Um, if you have an event that you want me to push, that you think would be worthy of showing up on my segment for me to mention, by all means, let me know. Drop me an email. I'm more than happy to do so because, like I said recently, previously, we all need a little somebody. We all need someone to give us that extra little push that we need to make sure that our product is put out there and exposed so that people have attention to us. So, yeah, I, I'm more than happy to be that for you. So, by all means, email me. Let me know. Give me some information. More than happy to do it. So that will be it for another segment of Slam and Synapsis. If you do want to drop me a comment, like I said, drop me an email at agurriertow.com. You could check me out at Facebook at Albert Gurrier. You could also find you could also like my Facebook page at Slam and Synapsis. Or you could find me at Twitter at Slam and Synapsis as well. As always, no G. So by all means, give me a look see. Next week, don't know what we're going into, but check my Facebook if I come up with something, pop a topic on there. Um, next week, I should have another entry into my Unsung Heroes Hall of Fame, so keep tuned for that. So for now, this is Albert Gurrier. Thank you for joining me for another segment of Slam and Synapsis. So long from ringside. Good night, everybody. Have a blessed day. Mm-hmm.